Welcome to the tips for Australian racing on the 24th of August um, 2024. I'm going to quickly go through my selections from last week and then go through the selections from today. So last Sunday uh, results we was the 18th. We had quite a few selections, but many of those were either abandoned or skipped. If we have a quick look at the count, we only got six of them that met our odds and only brought in the 50 cents on the $30 liabilities. We Had we not looked at odds, the profit would have been $2.15 on that $30 liability. But there was an abandoned meeting and as I said, quite a few uh, ended up being over our odds. So there was just no value there to take them. Although we've still only got one wrong out of 213 selections all up. Okay, so looking at today, um, this is where Group 1 Racing returns to um, Saturday Racing and we're getting a whole bunch of stuff for spring. I have quite a few selections. Um, in total, there are uh, just having a look, 39 selections for today, which is quite a bit. I've gone through all of the meetings. The only two meetings that did not get a selection are the um, Kanamara and Doombin races. There was nothing there that I could actually find that was value. So I'll just delete those two rows out. We'll start off. I've put a bit of a reason on why I have laid the selections um, this week, just so you can see what I am looking at. So if we look at Randwick race three, number four, that horse had terrible form. So I'm going to take it up to about $400 and it wasn't running anywhere near what is required for a, a Saturday meeting at Randwick. And the other ones are in race eight. I've got number one and number four. Now, the reasons I've taken those, um, I've taken number one up to $80 and number four up to $30, is that the distance just didn't suit them. They are long distance runners and the races were short races. So they're pretty much just going around for a run just to get some fitness. Um, at Mooney Valley, we've got race one, number six and number nine, number six up to $50 and number nine up to $100. Both of those are outclassed, um, and I'm just going to fix this up, and uh, racing in a class way above what they're capable of, uh, and the form for number nine was, was pretty terrible. If we move to Mooney Valley Race 3, I've got numbers 7 and 9, number 7 up to $300. He's definitely outclassed in that race. And number nine is a lay at any odds, so up to a thousand. And he was completely outclassed in this race and has terrible form. And then we have jumped, jumping to Moffettville, race one, number 18. It goes to $300, again, outclassed with terrible form. Race three, number seven, up to $60. It was really, again, the wrong distance for this horse, and it's really just a warm-up race for that horse. Uh, Moffettville race five, number 13, up to $200. It had poor form, and its form on wet tracks was terrible. So it had had some runs, and pretty much it's not a horse that likes to run on wet tracks. And I believe Moffettville is a slow, slow or heavy track. Out to um, Western Australia with Belmont, uh, we had race five, number eight. Now this one is only at $20, which is very low for what you'll see when I put the odds in for most selections. Um, so it is a shorter one, which means there is a lot more risk with this horse being around that $20 odds range. But the form is not great on the wet tracks for this horse. So it just didn't look based on the other contenders that it could get in at those odds. Um, I would not want to be taking it, um, you know, at 50, 100, something like that. The 
the edge would then be there and the value would be on actually following it in case it does have a surprise upset. We've also got Belmont race eight, number seven, out to $400. It's done nothing in two years and it hasn't raced much in two years. Um, so very limited racing, but all of those were double digit margins. So 10 lengths or more, it doesn't have much of a chance in that race. The reason I only went out to 400 instead of putting it as a thousand was I couldn't actually find a real contender that stood out that could win the race. Uh, jumping to Newcastle, so race one is a bit of a crazy race and I've got four horses in here. It's kind of a race that is split into two sets of form. There are some horses that definitely should be in the race and can win it and there is about half the field that really has no chance. So I've taken four of them, um, which is it's quite a big field. These are the ones that I don't think will run a place uh, and definitely shouldn't win. So we've got number two, it's had 10 starts and shown nothing in those 10 starts. So that'll go up to $300. We've got number three up to $150. It had seven starts and again, hadn't got close to even um, winning a race. We've got number nine up to $100. It's had eight starts and has been at the back half of every single field that it's raced in. And then we've got number 11. Now, number 11, I only put $50. And I think this was predicted by fixed odds to be the longest odds in the race. But I think that'll change. Um, it's had poor form in its four starts, but it's only had four starts. And while it's got a pr pretty bad barrier, which is why I'm willing to race it, I don't think it's going to get out into the hundreds. I could be wrong, but... Um, there is a bit of a chance that it runs a place. We jump out to Newcastle race five, number 12. I'm risking it up to the $80 odds mark. It's got a poor record at the distance and it gets back. So it could find trouble in the field size, trying to work its way through to um, get a win. So we jump out to Tunkurry. Race two, number three, this is another 1,000 lay at any odds. Um, it's had 46 runs for no wins and only three places. Um, and most of, the play, uh, most of the runs have been more than 10 lengths in the past five, six runs. So after 46 runs with no wins, it's, it's unlikely to get there. It's a horse that just likes to run in the pack. Uh, we got Tung Curry, race four, number nine, up to 300. It's got pretty poor form over the 18 starts. It's only had the one placing in that time. And on the, the wet ground, so it was heavy is what Tung Curry was going to be rated this morning. Um, it's had some terrible runs. Its runs on heavy were much worse than what they were on um, good ground. So we jump over to Wangaratta, who where it actually had quite a few big fields. Um, so I've got a few selections here. So race one, number eight, I am risking up to $200. Uh, now, it's been losing by double digit lengths. There wasn't much in this race that looked like it could win, but it had a very average jockey and trainer stats. So I'm willing to take it um, up to that $200 mark. Wangaratta race two, number 15, I'm willing to go up to 300. It's got terrible form and it is outclassed in that race. And number 18, which again, I'm willing to go at any odds at 1,000. Um, its last run was okay, but when you look at that run, it was in a much easier race and it was favoured in the market. If you go back and look when it's been at odds of 50 plus, 100 plus, it has ran to those odds. The market's got it right. So it's pretty much outclassed in this race and I don't see it having much of a chance, even though it had a fairly good run last run. When we're at a race three, there's number 17 up to $500. Um, it's outclassed and has terrible form. When we're at a race four, number 16 is coming last in the trials. Um, and races. So I don't think it had actually had many runs, um, but when I looked at all of its trials, it had run last in every single trial. Um, and it had one race where it had run last again. 
Uh, it's also got a bad barrier. So $600 seems reasonable for that one. Race six, number 14, we are looking up to $150. It's, it's going to struggle to run out the distance. It's had quite a few issues just running to the distances which are there. It can be in the pack, but that last 100, 200 metres, it seems to, to fall out. Okay, what do we got? Race nine, number six. This is again up to a thousand. This is the wrong distance for this horse. It is more of them trying a distance, which I don't think is going to work for the horse. So we'll see what happens there, but I'm happy to lay it at any odds. It would be a big surprise if it got up. Okay, Gold Coast race one, number 14. So in the Gold Coast, uh, I think this is an all weather track from memory. Um, I've got $80 as the odds for number 14 and it's got poor form and I've said we'll struggle in this race against the, the class of horses. And then we've got race seven, number nine, only up to 25. So again, it's short odds for what I would normally lay. Um, the reason I've gone with this is it does show a lack of class compared to the other horses in the race. Um, and it is a horse that likes to get to the back of the field again, and it's going to have to get past other horses to win, which on an all weather track is a lot harder to do. Um, then we jump out to Broome, race four, number five. I'm risking up to the $60 mark. It's been struggling this year, so going on the last 12 months, it has not done well. Um, that's the only one out of Broome. Then we've got Cairns, race one, We've got eight, 12, and 14. So number eight up to $80, number 12 up to 200, and number 14 up to 60. The reasons why number eight has very poor form and is in a bad barrier for this race, um, given the field size, number 12 has no form at all. It's up in class. It's not performing um, to any standard that where it should even run in the first half of the field. And number 14, based on its form and the, the barrier, it's unlikely to be a contender. So that one was probably more on barrier, um, given its form. Wasn't terrible, because I've gone $60, but the barrier kind of puts it out of contention. Then we've got Cairns race three, number 10, um, up to 300. Again, it's a wrong distance race for this horse. It's just a warm up race and race three, number 12, up to 500. Again, it's the wrong distance for this horse. It's also got poor form at all distances, so it's not a um, selection that you would, you'd wanna be backing. Uh, and then we jump to Cairns, race eight, where we've got numbers 11 and 12. Number 11 is up to $80, it's got poor form and is outclassed based on what it's been running. The same with number 12, up to $120. Again, poor form in races that have been lower class than what it's racing today. This is where you really just see people wanting to get their horses out because they're going to the meeting and they just enter them into a race. Um, it makes it easy, easy to lay. They can get up, they can have surprises, but it's unlikely. Then we've got Toowoomba tonight, uh, race three, number 11, risking that one up to $200. It's outclassed on the recent form and it's basically finishing not even within 10 lengths of the field. Uh, then we got race six, number nine. That's another lay it all odds up to a thousand. It's got no chance. I can't see it winning. In the last six races, the closest it has been is 13 lengths and the class of races racing in today is similar. And then we've got Toowoomba race seven, number seven, up to $600, and it's just outclassed in there. We're looking at the, the classes it's been running in based on prize money and how it's performed, and the horses that it's going against are much better class in this race. So that's quite a few selections. I think it was 39 that we've got today. I've already removed quite a few of the scratchings that came in late. So we should be close to this 39. I think we've got some fairly broad odds ranges in there and hopefully I'll get around 50, 60, even more percent under the odds that I want. Um, so yeah, it looks like a, a big day of racing 
with spring racing starting to return, which is great. Um, this is where I tend to make a fair bit of my money in the um, spring. Um, and just a quick um, promotion, I guess. I'm in the um, Professionals First Bookies um, tipping competition on Betfair where they have selected uh, quite a few professionals and, and bookies and we put in tips on Wednesdays and Saturdays. They will be very different to these tips. Um, I need to put in one tip and the idea is to find a favourite that is not going to win or place. So we're trying to get the lowest odds possible um, and that will run over the spring racing. So I believe it's about 11, 12 tips. Um, I'll be doing the first one on Wednesday. So I will put up a video just with that tip and why I've taken that tip. And yeah, if you want to see that, it'll probably go up on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Okay, I'll leave it there. Hopefully, if you're following these tips, um, you're just betting with money you can afford to bet with. I'm putting in here risking 30 liability. Again, we don't make much on $30, but if you do do this at a professional level, we're making a lot more when you get up to the 300, 3000 level. But Hopefully we get a clean sweep again. Um, we've only had one loss out of 213 selections, which is fairly good. So let's see if we can get that up to over 300 in the next few days. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow.